Hey there Theme Park fans, I'm Dan from ThemeParkNuts.com and today we're going to settle a little bit of an argument. Which is the best theme park attraction in Australia? Is it the Superman Escape Roller Coaster or is it the DC Rivals Hyper Coaster? Let's ride them both in a row and decide. So beauty of being a single rider, I got to ride at the very front then, which was awesome. Um, I haven't ridden in the front of Superman for a while. It's pretty great. So, yep, DC Rivals got some work to do, but I'm gonna head over there right now, join the single rider queue for it, and uh, yeah, see how they compare. So last time when I rode them both, I rode them, rode them in the other order, which is why I wanted to do Superman first today. I wanted to do DC Rivals first this time, and I don't know, I really love Superman. It's gonna be hard to beat, so let's see. Rivals, man. Woo. Going on the single rider queue in DC Rivals feels like cheating, like like dead set cheating, because you just like there's never anyone there. Ah, oh, it's crazy. All right, so DC Rivals done. I'm gonna find somewhere quiet. I'm gonna film which is better, DC Rivals or Superman. And to be honest, I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay. So let's, let's talk about DC Rivals versus Superman. There are good things for both, and there is an argument for both being the best rides in Australia. Um, DC Rivals is a better roller coaster. However, the dark ride portion on Superman adds so much to the theming and the thrill, it's, yeah, it's really tough. So, so let's break it down. Let's let's go. Let's go for four-ish categories. Um, comfort, um, thrill, theme. Um, what else? Convenience. How about that? So thrill-wise. So I just did front row of Superman and about middle of DC Rivals. DC Rivals wins that, but DC Rivals, probably 10 out of 10. Thrills, it's it's a great thrill ride. Uh, Superman's like nine and a half, like it's not far behind. You don't go upside down, it's not as long, it's not 10 out of 10, but that push at the start is so good that it's hard to beat. So um, DC Rivals takes it on, uh, Thrills, but only just, only just. Theming? Theming is all Superman. So theming, Superman gets like 9 out of 10 for theming. Uh, DC Rivals probably gets 4. The theme's uh, not coherent and it's not well demonstrated throughout the ride. Um, so I can't comfortably Superman for theming because it's got a story. DC Rivals doesn't have a story. I've got the Batwing going off next to me making a whole bunch of noise. DC Rivals doesn't have a story. It's got a whole bunch of characters on the facade on the outside and they're just 2D char cartoon characters and that's it. It's a slap some characters on a ride and that's it. So comfortably theming wise, Superman wins it. Comfort. Uh, DC Rivals is more comfortable. Um, Superman's a little bit rougher than it used to be, I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's not unbearable. And indeed, I was much more comfortable this time riding at the front than I was last time I rode it in the middle. Um, there are a couple of spots that are a bit bumpy, but you know, comfort-wise, DC Rivals at the moment gets, gets 10, and Superman probably gets 7. 
seven. Um, so I'll do the math on this at the end, but I think convenience. Superman's queues are getting shorter. Uh, PC rivals are getting longer. Superman goes past behind me. Um, so that's in its favour. However, the locker system is not in its favour. The locker system is useless. Um, it's better. The, the lockers used to be paid lockers, which was even more painful in Superman. So they've fixed that, but they've still got lockers. They really need to have um, some sort of system where you can drop bags at the station. They're most of the time only running one train, so they really should bite the bullet and just do that even if it's something that can turn or transfer between the start and stop stations or they just do away with the two stations. Honestly, you don't need to stop it twice. But anyway, so convenience wise and sort of how easy it is to ride. Oh, single rider. Single rider is a game changer if you're a, a solo rider like me. That makes a huge difference on DC rivals. Um, so convenience wise, Again, factoring in DC Rivals long lines, if you're not a single rider, I'm going to put it at 8, and I'm going to put Superman at 7. And it's mainly the lockers, to be honest. It would load so much smoother without the lockers. Um, particularly at the start of the day, which is when I hit it. So, again, I'm going to do the math, and I'll put the math up somewhere so that you can have a look at it. Um, For me, Superman is the best. Regardless of whether the scores that I just said say it, I think Superman is the best theme park ride in Australia. DC Rivals is the best coaster and the best coaster experience. But if you want more than a coaster, Superman is definitely the one. And for me, I'm a theme park nut, not a roller coaster nut. So, the winner is Superman. Thanks for watching my video all about Superman versus DC Rivals. We'll be back on Friday with our regular Theme Park News in a Minute video, so tune in for that. In the meantime, you can check us out on Twitter at Theme Park Nut, or our blog is ThemeParkNut.com. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, cheers.